Hi, I'm Michael Champlin from PayPal. Welcome to our Small Business Partner webinar series. Today, with so many small businesses needing to address a changing commerce environment, PayPal is focused on providing the tools and resources to not only help business owners adapt, but to grow and thrive in the face of so many challenges. To that end, we've put together this webinar series to connect you, the small business owner, to some of our most trusted partners to share with you the solutions they provide. We hope that through this webinar series, you'll come to see the new challenges presented to you not as an obstacle, but rather as an opportunity. And we at PayPal want to help you seize that opportunity today. And today, our partner who's going to be joining us is Tim Osborne from Equid. Tim, how are you? I am so good, Michael. Thank you for having me. Very excited to have you here to chat with us. Um, I'm going to give a quick little overview right now of Equid, but please feel free to jump in. Um, Equid, for everyone out there today watching the webinar, Equid is a free and easy way for small businesses to create a professional store without programming. That's huge for me. I love that feature. Equid makes it easy for you to start selling on your own website, across social media platforms, uh, or marketplaces within minutes. Over 900,000 merchants in 175 countries are selling online today using Equid. So as we enter right now uh, what has been labeled the new norm, right? Small business merchants are, are forced to rethink their business models. What is Equid doing to help alleviate some of their challenges? Absolutely. So I think the first thing to note about Equid, what kind of makes us different from a lot of other e-commerce software platforms that you might encounter, is we are not designed for large enterprise level businesses. That's, now that's not to say that the tools that we offer are less powerful or less robust or anything like that. In fact, it's the opposite. A lot of our tools are better, there's more of them, but the difference is in the implementation. So our product is designed specifically to support small businesses and help them meet the unique challenges that they face. And so um, to that end, we have developed uh, a platform with the mission of being the easiest and fastest e-commerce solution for small businesses to get started selling online and scale their businesses. Okay, so uh, there's a platform, there's a, there's a rich platform for me to get uh, up and running, selling online. I've never done that before, but maybe I'm a small business that, you know, is up against it a little bit, and I'm maybe a little strapped for cash, and I've got to do it on a, on a tight budget. Uh, what's it going to kind of set me back if I want to, you know, get on the Equid platform? Absolutely. So Equid, like I said before, it's been designed for small businesses, and not just small businesses, but also micro-sized businesses. Maybe you are a first-time solo entrepreneur, you don't have a lot of resources available to you. Another thing that makes Equid unique is we offer a totally free solution. So you can get started selling online with zero financial investment. And because of COVID-19, because of this new normal that we're entering into where there are a lot of small businesses right now who need to quickly get online and start selling in order to be a viable business on into the future, We've even moved some of our tools that are available on our premium plans down to our free plan to make that a little bit easier. And we're offering that through the end of 2020 so you can get access to all of those tools for the rest of the year just to get up and running and start getting some sales for your business online. That's huge. That is huge for small businesses. Um, and, and, and the speed of doing this, I mean, you and I have discussed, it doesn't take a long time to do this, right? Absolutely not. So the way that I like to describe Equid, if you are a new business, a new small business, a solo entrepreneur who wants to set up your online store for the very first time, maybe you have a website, maybe you have nothing at all, but you've definitely never sold online. If you wake up in the morning, you grab your cup of coffee, you sit down at your desk with your computer, you can realistically be up and selling by lunchtime. That is the way that we have designed our product. We've created it in such a way that it answers the questions easily for new small businesses who, who may not have any experience in this space. Okay, so, I mean, that sounds incredible. I mean, coming obviously from the PayPal side, I've 
spoken for years about how easy it is to start accepting payments within a matter of minutes, but you're telling me I can get my entire online store set up and running before lunchtime? Absolutely. And that is not to say that once you set up your store, you should just set it and forget it. And that's all you're ever going to have to do. But to get started, to take those first steps, you can do all of that in just a few hours from logging in, setting up your account, answering our initial questions to offering your very first product to your customers. Wow. Okay. That, that's very <laughs> attractive as, as a business owner. Um, I, I think we're going to be able to jump in and get a little demo of this. Are you going to be able to walk us through a little of how we can do that? So getting started with Equid is as simple as setting up an account, typing in your email, password, and then answering a few quick questions. And that will set you on the road to setting up your first online store. And I can go ahead and show you that from our control panel right now, just to give you a sense of what that looks like. All right, so here we are at the account signup page, my.equid.com. We'll go ahead and put in our name. I am Tim Osborne, last time I checked. We'll use my email. Password, strong password, that looks great. Then we'll click set up your store. So here we are at the four step registration process. So here we're just gonna answer a few questions to let Equid know how we're gonna be using our store, give it a name, those kinds of things. So let's go ahead and name our store. We'll call it Tim's First Store. All right. And then what's our country and currency? We're in the United States, we're using the US dollar, that all looks correct, so we'll click next. And now here we're gonna put in our address, pretty simple. So we'll say we're in San Jose, California, one of the headquarters of PayPal. Use our zip code, click next again. Now here we're just gonna answer a few questions about how we're gonna be using the store and what kind of experience we already have with selling online. So for the sake of this video, we'll say we have just gotten started. We don't have any experience. What types of products we'll be selling? We'll say we're selling home and furniture products. Um, and we are not setting up a store for someone else. We are setting it up for ourselves. This is our first time setting up an online store. Click next again. Do you already have a website? So this is an important question. If you already have a website, what's really cool about Equit is you can just integrate that into your existing website and sell through there with our online shopping cart. Equid will automatically integrate with your website's existing designs. So you won't have to do any coding or design or anything like that. And you can jump straight to adding your products and getting ready to start selling online. If you don't already have a website, you can use our free website builder that we call the Instant Site to build your own website from scratch. So we'll say that we do not have a website. We go ahead and name our website so we've got here Tim's first store, that looks good. So we'll finish and proceed to dashboard. And those are the initial steps to setting up your online store. And it really is just that easy from there. You're gonna follow these next four steps to add your products, handle shipping and payment and all those kinds of things. And we'll guide you through that process. Remember we've structured this so that it's as easy as possible for new merchants who don't have any experience to get started selling online fast. Okay, so that's amazing. Thank you, that's, that's incredibly helpful. Um, it's not news to say that consumers and the way they shop right now has changed significantly, right? Even, even before 2020. Um, and as a result, merchants are needing to leverage social channels more than ever before. How does Equid address this need? So with Equid, what our developers have done is we've developed integrations with a lot of these social media channels so that you can advertise on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest. The, the, the breadth of options and places that you can advertise is just, it's, it's mind boggling, but it makes that accessible right from your Equid control panel and using actual live products that are available in your store. So you have a customer or an audience that is on Instagram or on Facebook. You can serve them ads with the products that are in your store right where they already are, right where they're interacting with their friends and their family and other brands.
So once you set up a lot of these advertising tools, the way they've been developed by the social media channels themselves is to make them automated. So they use a lot of AI and different things like that to determine budgets and who sees your products and when and, and under what circumstances. Um, and so they're, they're very customizable, but they're, they're very simple to set up and get moving. Yeah, this is great. The more and more I, I you know, hear you talk about all the solutions that Equid offers as a small business or as we mentioned before, a micro business, I might be starting out of my home one morning and by lunchtime, I now not only have a website, but I have an entire team dedicated to helping grow my business. Absolutely. And jumping off of that, talking a little bit more about social media. So you set up your, your Facebook page or your Instagram profile, maybe you're doing advertising. The other thing that you can do is actually sell through those channels. So at Equid, we refer to those as sales channels. So in the past, what you might have done, let's say you wanted to sell something on Facebook. You could feasibly create a product catalog where you upload your products in the same way you would to an online store and then sell directly through Facebook. Maybe you're tagging products in posts. Maybe they're going into your little shop tab on your Facebook page, but your customers could transact on Facebook. The problem with doing that historically has been every time you add a new sales channel, whether that's social media, whether that's eBay, whether that's Amazon, you have to manage each one of those channels independently. So every single one is its own inventory, it's its own store, and you have to go into each one. Maybe you wanna change a product description. You have to update every single product description on every single channel. It's tedious. And for a solopreneur or a small business specifically, it is an untenable prospect. They just do not have the time or the resource to do it. So with a platform like Equid, what we have done is we allow you to create your product catalog one time. You create your online store, whether that's on your existing website or you build a brand new website from scratch using our platform, which is incredibly simple. And then you can import that product catalog into those other channels. So maybe that's into your Facebook page or maybe you wanna share it on Amazon and then you only manage the one catalog. So if you update a product description in your online store, it's gonna be ported over to all of those other channels automatically. That's awesome, that's awesome. Taking out so much of what could be, uh, you know, duplicating your efforts for that's each cool. channel and simplifying that into one product listing that you have to create. 100%. Again, this is all about making selling online easier and more accessible for small businesses. Okay. So I, now I've got everything set up. I think that I understand my, my customer base. I'm, I'm creating my products and my listings and the photographs to best meet their needs. Mm -hmm. But how do I get those consumers to my site in the first place? Yeah, that is... Such a good question, Michael. What we want to do when we're building online stores is create opportunities for people to come into contact with our brand, with our products, and then visit our website. And that comes down a lot to advertising. So one thing we talked about a little bit before is social media. Now, this is the easiest and the freest way for you to get the word out about your new store. Just share it with the people that you know on social media. And I'm not even saying you have to create pages on those social media channels. If you already have a personal account, just tell your friends, tell your family. It's a great way to start drumming up some initial traffic to your website and getting the word out about your new store. Now, I'm not saying that's all you're ever going to need to do, but it's a great start. The next thing that I would recommend that every new store do is set up uh, ads in Google Smart Shopping. So Google Smart Shopping is the first advertising tool that I would recommend to new merchants because it is geared towards driving new traffic to your website. Google Smart Shopping, if you're not familiar with it, it is an advertising tool that is available to you within your Equid control panel. Now, it is available to you for free and that you can access this tool for free and we're not gonna charge you anything to use it. And the great thing about a lot of these tools, besides the fact that they're available to you free through Equid, is they don't require you to have designers and people on staff to create your ads for you. Excellent, excellent. Okay, Tim, so 
insofar as what a merchant needs to really pay attention to, or there may be, let's say, top three things that a merchant needs to consider? Uh, so n number one is ease of checkout. So let's say you're in a physical store and you pick out your products, you know what you want to buy, and then you start moving towards the checkout and you realize there is a line that just snakes through the aisles. Are you more or less likely to get in that line and complete that purchase? Less, more than likely. Uh, um, because it's now become more difficult to make that purchase. And so what we want to do from an e-commerce perspective is remove as many barriers as possible to our customers completing their purchases. And so one way of doing that is by offering alternative forms of payment. And so we want to think through what are the ways that are going to be the easiest for our customers to transact with us. And hint, hint, PayPal is a really, really great way for new customers to transact with your new online store. I love PayPal for a couple reasons. One, it is global. So wherever you want to sell, you will be able to use PayPal to make those transactions. And I love that. The other thing that it does is it removes barriers and obstacles to completing the checkout process if someone already has a PayPal account. One of the worst things about shopping online is typing in your credit card. It is the worst. And so with PayPal, if you already have an account, you can just select to pay with PayPal and that's it. It is done. It's a great, great way to increase conversion on your website. Now, stepping back from payment methods for a second, there are a couple other things that are also really, really important to consider. Number one is shipping costs. So you might not know it, but the number one contributor to abandoned carts, which is people who have come to your website, they've put a cart in their product, they've made it to the checkout, and then they've pieced out and not paid for it, is shipping costs. No one likes to be surprised about the price of something. We always want to know on the front end what we're going to pay. And then the final thing that I would say to be aware of, and this is definitely one that a lot of people overlook, not even just small businesses, but businesses in general, is your return policy. You need to take some time to think through what your return policy is. And that's not to say that you have to accept returns, but be clear about whatever it is that your return policy is. So are you going to accept returns? If you are going to accept returns, under what circumstances? If you accept returns, do you pay for the returns or does the customer pay for the returns? Be thinking through those things and then make that very clear on your website so the customers know and can have confidence when they make a purchase about what the next steps are. So Tim, we, we, we've addressed a lot today. Um, and at a couple of points, we, we've talked about all the resources that Equit is making available to small businesses. Uh, during these times of COVID and through the end of the year. Uh, can you summarize some of those for us and let us know where we can find more about that? Absolutely. Yeah, this, is, this has been an unprecedented time for small businesses and, and new entrepreneurs. And uh, that is our lifeblood. That is what we do. Like I said before, Equid is designed for small businesses to make selling online accessible and easy for you. Any last words, Tim, for our merchants that, that you want to share before we wrap up today? Yes. Uh, I think just know that you can do this. You can. It probably feels a little bit scary right now. You may not know a lot about selling online. You might not even know much about the internet at all, but I promise you that there are tools and resources to help you do this. And we at Equid, we are here for you. We want to help you. We want to support you. So if you want to use Equid, reach out to our support team, ask us questions, check out some of my other videos. We want to help you be successful. But having said all of that, if you want to do this, take the first step. No matter how easy our product is, if you don't take the first step, you will never have a successful online business. So just be willing to, to take that leap and we are here to catch you. Wonderful, Tim. Thank you very much for Tim, myself, PayPal, and Equid. Thank you very much for attending today. Thanks for having me, Michael.